Clavin, I believe that's the longest title I've ever seen on our program. I, I know. I believe the folks out in TV land are going to have to butt two TV stations, uh, uh, TVs together to get the whole title in. Boom. Two TV stations, right. Run them all. Well, hi. Welcome. Glad to see you today, and I'm glad to see you got that room cleaned up. We've been noticing it was a mess. Ooh, boy, them little fuzzy balls flying around. Well, we got everything cleaned up. Oh, there you are. We got everything cleaned up down here. We're ready to go, except our act, but it never improves much. We do have <laughs> some letters from around the world. Well, that lady tried to improve our act. Yeah, boy, I want to tell you, I can't, rem I don't know what this gal's last name is, and perhaps it's just as well from Par from Palmer, Things Arkansas. Got a life of its own. Yep. From Palmer, Arkansas. I don't believe I've ever heard of that, but we're glad you're watching us down there. I hope we're coming in clear. She uh, she's excited about her cookbook, as are we. Uh, <laughs> She wants a recipe for Congo chicken. That was a wild chicken that went on for about two shows. We had to go almost go into syndication <laughs> on that one it was so long. And then she said you had this Spanish recipe, but you forgot the Spanish rices, and she proceeds to lay us out about it and how terrible it was and how it couldn't have been any good because we had put all the right stuff in it. Thank you very much, darling. We love to hear from people. <laughs> <laughs> Juanita Stacy from, from uh, Roanoke, Virginia, just got so nervous when she wrote her letter to us that she dropped cigarette ashes all over it, <laughs> burned holes through it. <laughs> and, the, and the letter had a hole burned all the way through it, too. Well, she's been watching the show a lot, yeah. and she knows the, how we've burned a few things ourselves, I'm sure. Well, well we've listen, got a lot to we've do got today. A tremendous amount to do today. And, Don't and, forget your lid. <laughs> and. Uh, We've got uh, a, a guest with us. A special friend of Blue Ridge Public Television is uh, joining us. Either that or some stranger is wandering <laughs> around in our kitchen. <laughs> the very lovely and semi-voluptuous Doris Ford. No. Oh. Hi. How you doing? I'm no, fine. she's more than semi. She's a real good friend of ours, and she's a good friend of Blue Ridge Public Television, and, and she, she is braving. Right. This, uh, she bought her way onto the show, <laughs> is what you're saying. Which is the only yeah, way to do it. And that's we, the truth. <laughs> we were bought in an auction, folks. It's we'll true. do anything for money. This time we got sold for money. No, she did, and we're glad that she could be with us. And today. we have a special little gift uh, for you a little bit later on in the program. Yes. That we have gone to a lot of expense on, uh, <laughs> on your behalf. Well, uh, I think we ought to let Doris, who has brought a recipe today, with her. What okay. are you going to fix, Doris? Uh, chicken and peas is a recipe my grandma used to make, but I got to do it fast. <laughs> well, bring, grandma it, used bring to make it up here. Oh, yes, and bring do it on. Right turn up here. on. Which, how do you turn it on? Right here. There you go. Okay, get it cooking. Uh, if it still works, that's the one Laban ruined last week. With, the <laughs> With a little knife or something slid under it, we almost electrocuted ourselves. Okay. But it's okay now, Doris. Okay, what I have in here is about a tablespoon of uh, corn oil margarine. Yeah. Good, good. And yeah. olive oil. They say olive oil is good now. That's right. <laughs> and uh, I want to try to get that melted some so I can well, brown. We've the got chicken. it up well, on you're high. Asking an awful lot, Doris, on this <laughs> show. But, uh, <laughs> I know. That's why I say this is make believe, huh? Uh, <laughs> oh, but we do the real thing. We expect to eat well, this stuff at the end of the oh, show. Oh, well, look, <laughs> Doris has brought out the fine family china. That looks to <laughs> be like one of those microwave <laughs> dinner dishes. <laughs> Well, we know she's cooking a lot at home. <laughs> this, uh, well, well, this, no, this plastic was handed down to Doris by her grandmother. <laughs> grandmother. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was fine plastic in the day. couldn't cook either. Ca right? came, from, came from Italy. Came from Italy. <laughs> well, this now, is, what have you done to this chicken? Well, it's, it's just breaded. I, uh, not breaded, but I've dipped it in flour ahead oh, of time. Oh, okay. okay. All right. And, uh, now, what's special about this recipe? That it's cheap. <laughs> well, I took care well, of that. How ironical. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you if it ever gets to brown them. Now, you got to put lots of salt and pepper on it? Yeah, I have that over here. It's up on high. Yeah, so it's, it's on high, okay. but it's, it's going. Oh, you well, have another secret goop to put on it. Okay, now, all this is is one six-ounce can of tomato paste mm -hmm. and two cans of water, mm -hmm. and that's it. Pretty snappy. That's mm -hmm, quick. Yeah. And once it's getting... And what are you going to do with it? And then I'm going to add... Now, I was my... Uh, <laughs> She's Where's lost me? her script. And now lost my script. identification. Well, see, I yeah. <laughs> I'm used to throwing things at a pot. Oh, okay. And I had to well, figure out. Well, throw things at Laban. What I put in it. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Okay, well, we got three teas three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Yeah. An eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. 
heavens, look at this. She I know she's everything. Everything. Yeah, measured. Three measures. <laughs> well, you told me five minutes, three minutes. He told me three. It's a minute and a half, Doris. <laughs> okay, a fourth of basil, a tablespoon of, a teaspoon of oregano. Ooh, a, this looks good. An eighth of a teaspoon of granulated garlic. You can do it, uh, if you want to use fresh, you could, I guess. And one teaspoon of minced dried onions. Just mix that up. And when you get the chicken brown. Which it is, by the it's way. Browning. It's starting to brown. Just so that everybody I'm out there in TV land knows this is real. Yes, it's real. It's brown. <laughs> oh, look, it is doing right well on the edges there. It's and, a little uh, slippery, but it's doing right well. Well, I, I, I get a chicken, a whole chicken, and cut it up because that. You and know. you know that's the best way to do it, Doris, because you can save about uh, that's right. a more lot. than one half. And I, well, I've, yeah, and, and this has got six pieces in it, but now mm -hmm. the rest of it is in a bag, home ready to be boiled up for something. Mm -hmm. and, okay, you want me to just, how much yeah. more time do I have? 30 seconds, Doris. Okay, I'll dump this in. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, take your time. Okay. Well, once it's I don't want to cook today anyway, to be honest with you. Well, we should, this is a TV auction, April. Is it really? Yes, it is. That's incredible. Isn't that cute? She I has, and it's, TV it's quite pretty. I thought perhaps you'd sat down and done all that no, as a needle no, point no, or something. No. I said. can't even see the square. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Honesty on television. This is the one. Now, now, what are you doing? I'm just going to turn it down so we can just put this okay. in and get. Oh, Doris, it just put out my eye. No, well, I'm just kidding. I can just put this over. Ooh. Now, if, if you don't want the flour on it, you can just brown the chicken. Yeah. And if you're lazy like I am some days, <laughs> Now, do you cook this just, uncovered or covered? No, I got it covered here. Yeah. Just simmer it. Simmer for until it's done, and that's and, it. And you simmer it for about a half an hour, and then uh, I got the cover right over here too. Well, she's got it's it covered. Well, she will <laughs> here in just a second. Yeah, okay, okay. now just, she's got it covered. That's it. Okay. And uh, like when I say, you put the peas and mushrooms. And then uh, in, you yeah, simmer what, what for a half an hour, and then 15 minutes before it's done, add your mushroom and peas. Another right. 15 minutes and you're done. We'll remind you in a few minutes. Okay. Because <laughs> well, we're sort of in sped up time here on TV get Land. Out of here. Well, Everything is done. In <laughs> Let me what? start because mine takes so long to do. Now, don't you start. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to do no, some crepes. Ahead. These are going to be crepes with ham and asparagus. We need, in a blender, we've got three tablespoons of melted margarine. You'll have to trust me on that, folks. A blender, which we finally found the top three for. Three eggs. Watch out. This is messy. Got to be careful, Doris. He, he's <laughs> been known to put people's <laughs> eyes out with uh, eggs. You're really into putting eggs. eyes out. There. Well, I know. You've I had a bad day. You really want to I have had a somebody. bad day. <laughs> All right. Now, we've got uh, three eggs. Now, we need a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of water. Here's a cup, and there's a half full of water, and I'm pouring in the milk, and that goes in here now. And we need um, three quarters of a cup of flour. Now, let me see. Where's my... Bet you never realized how big he really was till you stood up here like uh, like right. like I do every week, huh? Yes, indeed. All there right. it is. Oh, isn't that clever how he's using the, uh, <laughs> the, the end of the spoon? Well, Ed, previously we determined that three quarters of a cup would be four spoon handlefuls. <laughs> All right. Whatever now this is means. the oh, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Watch this fastest cook in town. Boom. Now, we have to mix this up. All of you remember this blender. <laughs> <laughs> you were here the last time. We when used it exploded it. repeatedly. Oh, well, let's see if we can go real fast. Yeah, it's working much better today. Not sounding much better, but it's working much better. Now, it needs to go for a minute and a half. Yeah. And you need to do this early because the batter has to cool for, half an hour, for an hour before you can use it. So enough of that stuff. When you get through, the batter looks like this. Doris, if we can move you back over here. The, uh, mm. <laughs> the, the batter looks like this. And it is a very, very thin batter, folks. Do not think that you're going to get a batter that is like your pancakes in the morning. Because if you do that, you will get a bad crepe. It needs to be thin. Now we've got a little Teflon skillet here. Sing a song. That's pretty slick. Tell us a joke, Doris. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> I guess she decided she, 
Now, she told us a great one before we went on the air. What was that? Farmer's uh, Daughters. And the Jim. three grapes. And the right. three grapes. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess we can't tell that one right now. All right, anyway, three tablespoons full of batter will make a crepe. Bly, it's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, you all have hurried along, so now I'm going to have to fill the last 20 minutes. Oh, no, there's, no, no, no. Oh. I have a whole other thing I've got to do. Oh, okay. I, well, I, I could was, use at least 20 more minutes. I was real nervous about it. Oh, mm. we've noticed that. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh-oh. Mm. What? No, it's just oh. water. It's real water. It really is. Nobody believes it. Sure, it's Larry. Very, of course it is. It's very bad water, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I guess it's so. I mean, you know, when you had to call Ernie and Julio to I'm gonna send make it in to you. scrambled eggs with cottage cheese. That sounds interesting. Mm. And it doesn't say who sent this one in. I guess you, we must have made this one up ourselves. Uh, you got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was going to give credit to this to somebody else, but if it, if it comes out real bad, I guess we'll have to take credit ourselves. We're going to start out with six eggs. That's easy enough. Stick them in a nice big bowl. I'm heating up some margarine over here, by the way. Six of them. Three. You want to count along, Doris? Four. Four. <laughs> you realize what you've done to your <laughs> reputation by coming on this program to begin with. And not only that, but you paid dearly for it. Four. <laughs> Two, four. Five. Five. And Three. six. I'm going to whip those up a little bit. Whip up on them. That's what I have the whisk for today. And then we're going to add all the other ingredients. I think what I'm going to do for the sake of, there's nothing worse than an omelet that sits around 15 minutes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-mix everything and then just a moment before the dramatic end of this program I will do the omelet so that it won't be all tired and, soft, and rubbery. rubbery. <laughs> yeah. Halfway. <laughs> How's that for you? He, he says halfway. I don't know whether I'm doing a halfway good job or whether we're halfway through the show. It I think be it's one. the uh, former. Now we're going to take a tablespoon of chopped chives. I've already got them pre pre chopped. Tablespoon of chopped chives. Link. That's close enough. And a half teaspoon of salt. Pretty exciting stuff, isn't it, Doris? Oh my heavens, we missed the, the flipping of the crepe. Well, next time you go to do that, make sure you uh, alert us. <laughs> he was afraid he was going to throw it right out in there, and everyone was going to see him and be humiliated. A little bit of about an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. I'm just guesstimating all this. You know, it's not an exact science. Nothing much is around here. Three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese. And do you know that they have got new things now on the cottage oh, really? cheese? They have a safety rim that comes off now, and then you have this little tiny thing you got to grab hold of. It's an irritation. Just like all those things are irritations. All these things are irritate me. Oh. No, no, no. Look at this. You don't have a rim to grab onto anymore. There's a little tiny thing oh. there. Oh. Right there. You grab hold of that. Well, I guess That's maybe they're got. saving some money or something. Who knows? Anyway. Well, no, it's for your safety. Oh, for your protection. It's for your protection. <laughs> Three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese. Again, I'm just going to guess. Looks pretty close to me. Is Are that everything? Oh, oh, here we go. We're going we're gonna to flip a crepe. Whoop. Hey, <laughs> wonderful. Thank you. That's enough. That's enough. Not too much. <laughs> He'll be unbearable for a week. And then you mix it all up. Now, doesn't that look interesting? If nothing else, it looks interesting. And then we're going to put that on a very hot, uh, we're going to put that in, in the old uh, pan here in a couple of minutes, uh, real nice heat so that it browns, and fold it over one time, and you got yourself a very, oh, I forgot the milk. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I knew there was something I missed. Two tablespoons of milk. One, two, approximately. And mix that in there also. And that's it. That's the whole mixture right there. And in a couple of minutes, we'll put it in the pan, and we'll do it to it. Maybe maybe people would like to see these. Oh, you have some more to do yes, now, don't I you? Do. Okay, now back to Mr. Johnson. Well, I've got two tablespoons full of margarine in this little saucepan, and 
a small onion, about a quarter of a cup of chopped onion, and a half a teaspoon of curry powder. <laughs> now I'm oh, putting in dear. about two tablespoons full of flour into that mixture, and the onions and the curry have been cooking for some smart time now, and I'm gonna stir this up because we're gonna make a sauce to go over our crepes. Let me know when we got 10 minutes, boys and girls. Okay, well, go ahead. While I'm, I'm just gonna add some more stuff to this. Uh, what are you a little mix? bit of salt. Oh, well, take your time. I don't, All I'm right. not I'm gonna her. add a little bit of salt, about a half teaspoon Doris of salt. Doris and I are gonna that. stand back here and talk. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And one and a half, <laughs> about a one and a half <laughs> cups of, uh, <laughs> of milk go into this now. Ooh, doesn't that look good? And you all know how much I just love curry. <laughs> and we're gonna let this uh, boil now until it thickens up on us. Uh huh. Okay. So well, you go ahead because it'll take a few minutes. All right. While you're doing that, up. we're down to about ten minutes now, and so what I'm going to do is I'm <laughs> going to pour all of this in there, and we're going to make our omelet now at this point in time and history. Now, wasn't that exciting? That's all there is to that. Should we? Uh, should, doesn't it look pretty though? Now you have to admit that's going to be a darling thing when it gets done, if it ever does. Yes. No, it will, I'm sure. Now, should we go back to you, Mr. Johnson, or? Well, you... yes, uh, okay. very quickly. I'm now taking my crepes, and I'm covering them with a slice of ham, and I'm going to put a couple of you asparagus someone, Doris? spears. <laughs> bottom roller work? Neighbors are looking at me. <laughs> on here, and I'm gonna roll them up now and put them seam side down in this lovely little dish here. So, Bly, that's all that there is to this right now. So if you want to go ahead and uh, show everybody how wonderfully well your eggs are cooking, go right ahead. Well, there's there. really nothing else to talk about right now. It's just sort of laying there. Oh, doing... you mean your eggs aren't? Well, no, they're just doing what they do, oh. and that's not much of anything exciting. They're oh. just kind of sitting around. I think maybe what we ought to do is show these people these okay. exciting <laughs> recipes. Don't okay. you think we ought to do yes. that? Yes. Yeah, okay. Scrambled eggs with cottage cheese, the cottage cheese. One tablespoon of chopped chives, a half teaspoon of salt, an eighth teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of margarine, six eggs, three quarters cup cottage cheese, and two tablespoons of milk. Mix it all up, put it on a nice hot uh, stove top, and cook it as uh, just as you would eggs, because that's what they are. And they're and real good. The crepes, uh, three eggs, half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, three tablespoons full of melted margarine, three quarters cup of flour, and a half a teaspoon of salt. You mix all those together to make a batter. Uh, for the sauce, you, uh, for the, the recipe, you need 12 crepes, four eggs, hard boiled, two tablespoons of margarine, half cup of chopped onions, one half cup of, uh, uh, t teaspoon of curry powder, two tablespoons of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, uh, one and a half right, cups of milk, a tablespoon of Worcestershire <laughs> sauce, and the eggs, I said, have to be chopped uh, and uh, you need 12 uh, thin slices of cooked ham and about a pound and a half of asparagus or whatever you can come up with. And we're showing you what to do with all of those even as we speak. Okay, Doris, you know what? I believe it's time for you to put in the rest of the goop. Okay. Now, if you had been cooking this all along, <laughs> at this point, it would be. you would be adding an entire can of... of Mushrooms. Oh uh, yeah, I've got I get stems, stems and pieces. And pieces. You save money that That's way, don't right. you? That's right. And peas. Peas. And now you cover that and Just go how much longer? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen more minutes and, covered. Yeah, and that the chicken that will make pretty? a lot more broth, but you know after you cook it, so it'll be thicker and. Now while we're waiting for the end of the show, maybe you'd want to count the peas <laughs> on your screen. The one who comes the closest. Hey. <laughs> now anyway. my sauce bly is beginning to thicken up, and so we're going to add some a tablespoon of Worcestershire to it, and oh, then we will wonderful. add the eggs to it in just a minute. There wonderful. we go. That Worcestershire gives it a wonderful consistency. Oh, dear. Woo, wrong. Wash it off like oh, that, that was... You have a corrupt plate? <laughs> I believe someone didn't even look at that one when they washed. How much... How big a bucket you have under here? Oh, there's... there's oh, there's a big bucket <laughs> under there, Doris. <laughs> <Big bucket. laughs> Doris is worried about the bucket under the sink. <laughs> She's not an old hand at this like we are. Laban and I don't even care after seven years. We don't even look anymore. 
Boy, this is getting to be pretty. You may want to get a startling overhead on this. It's just lovely. Isn't that nice? It's getting nice and brown. It's just gorgeous, just full of gorgeousness. I cook them right fast, but I don't keep them on there very long. Where is Miss Witch? Uh, oh, is it time for Miss Witch? Well, you know, while we're waiting for some of this stuff to do its thing, yeah. we could bring the old witch in. Or watch your mouth. Oh! Okay. She has done a fly through. <laughs> She's frisky today. You, you go ahead and read frisky. that one. Oh, do I have to? Yeah. My eggs are burning. <laughs> he always has me read things when my eggs are burning. Okay, hang on a second here, boys and girls, as soon as we get this under control. I have uh, been a short order cook for years, Doris, it says. Recently, my wife said she was sick of ribeyes and eggs over light with hash browns and whole wheat toast. <laughs> she even hates the apple jelly. <laughs> Teach me some fancy foreign dish, okay, okay? Okie okay, Annie, Benton, Virginia. <laughs> yeah, well, as a matter of fact, next week on our program, we're going to do some very special stuff that has nothing to do with any of that. Right. <laughs> now, Lair, I'm adding my chopped eggs into this pan, this dish, and everywhere else. Oh, boy, that looks good. It's and a soft one, but uh, it will do. And now this. This sauce goes over your crepes. And guess what I'll be having for dinner tonight? Ooh, look at that. <laughs> because that has to bake in the oven for about 20 minutes. What does it look like when you've baked it in the oven for 20 minutes? Well, Raven? strange you should ask. <laughs> just We're huh? just living on the right side of law and order because right over here we do have them. Voila! Isn't that amazing? He puts them in one dish, they come out in two. That looks real pretty. Uh-huh. Everyone's going to take it right to the Thank table. You. Mr. Johnson does not mess around when it comes to food. Just boom, right to the table. By the way, Doris, uh, come up here if you would please while he's doing that for appearing on the Cook and Cheap <laughs> television program today. We have these lovely French fry uh, <laughs> ink pens, matching uh, french fry ink pens for you. We hope that you'll like them. Uh, oh, how embarrassing. They still have the 47 cent uh, tag uh, on them. How utterly humiliating. What, what are you what Well, do? I think so because... Them? Oh, there they are. We know... Uh, isn't that, that nice? Right. I'll bet you don't have a pair of those, do I you? I bet you I don't. I'm particularly humiliated. <laughs> I know for a fact that Rex gave you a dollar to spend ben, on I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm, I'm sorry. We wanted to get you four of them, but we, we just couldn't spring for the money. Well, this is all ready. That's all ready. Now, your chicken, and, of course, didn't have a oh, chance. Oh, it's ready. <gasps> She's caught on to the program, <laughs> how it works. It might not be hot She's anymore. She's got one that's done. All right, very good. Just keep going, Doris, till you can't go anymore. <laughs> and come on around here. <laughs> Here's her chair. I was going to stand, but that's all right. <laughs> As you can tell, this has been totally rehearsed <laughs> a class and act. coordinated. Thank you very much, Jim. You're a <laughs> oh, I wish I had person. brought over one of my. Well, well, have, have here, Doris, I'll pass over that there to, to get you that first. Out. See what you think of that. And uh, Doctor Blah. Yes. Uh, just a little bit will be will be the greatest of uh, uh, plenty. Thank just you. So a, much. Just a little oh, would have no, no. would have done just fine. Oh, he's signifying to us with the Jackie Mason gesture now. Here. Well, we got to try some oh, Doris's chicken. Yeah, we got to get the chicken. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, how, how humiliating. I'll be right Doris back. has forgotten her. No. What'd she forget? <laughs> her spoon. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to dig it out with my fork. <laughs> Yo! That thing is hot. Is it stiff? What a hearty meal. Oh, oh yeah. here's a piece of asparagus. All right. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Look, look. Oh, my heavens, all kinds of old cheese asparagus. Oh, hell. Mm. One. Well, Larry's always telling me he's a country boy. Guess what you're eating, Larry? What is that? <laughs> Mountain oysters. Is that what that is? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, my. Ah. <laughs> I suddenly want to jump up and run out of the theater. <laughs> well, let me try some of this. <laughs> 
you've got to go. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry you can't be here to see him turn green. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon. <laughs>